to the students of Chiro High School. Did I say that right? Sounds South Carolina. Listen. Science is all around us. It's in us. Knowledge of science is power. It gives you an understanding of the forces of nature, which some people will exploit your ignorance of it if you don't know it. Hey, I got some crystals here. If you rub them together, they'll heal you. Ah, oh, you might say, well, what are the crystals made of? What, what, what diseases do they cure? Where did you get them? So they cost. Why do they work? You start bringing forth that series of questions, the person runs away in tears because you know how to ask <laughs> questions about the natural world. It's not even about how much science you know. It's about how science literate you are. Science literacy is brain wiring. It's what's your first thought when someone tells you something? Are you in a position to know whether they're just full of it? Or are you positioned to say, hey, that'll work and I know why? The laws of physics, chemistry, biology, they allow it. They thrive on it. So, I say to you, if you're one of those who says, well, that's science, oh, that's not me. Science is you, and the sooner you know it, the more empowered you become. Science literacy is a vaccine against all the fuzzy thinking that goes on in the world. Why not get vaccinated? Therein is power. Signing off from Kennedy Space Center, Florida. Behind me, the International Space Station, the member countries. This is Space Coast. Neil deGrasse Tyson, signing off.